Hey, it's time for another score from the dollar store. I haven't done one in a long time. I found this at Dollarama. It's the Magic Show Magic Kit from Montoy. I think these guys are out of business. It's just a typical uh, magic kit that you would find at a dollar store. I think they spent more money on the box than they actually did the tricks. The box is kind of cool. Turn the box over, it shows you everything you get with the uh, with this magic kit. Go ahead and open it up. Here's all the tricks. I'm not sure you're, who's using uh, magic wands anymore. I'll use it for today's purposes. You get the uh, cups and balls, um, the cylinder cards. So, you know, I think it's a little mentalism trick. They think of one of these symbols, turn them over, and you guess which symbol they're thinking of. Uh, the typical three different rope length trick. Um, these right here are gimmick gap cards you get. It's a blank one, and they're all like, you know, half indices or quarter indices. So that's a little packet card trick. Um, this deck of cards that is included, it's a normal deck of cards. There's, they're not uh, gaffed in any which way. Alright, here's the black and white joker, here's the color joker, and then all the cards. Alright, but they're not gimmicked in any way, they're just a regular d deck of cards. And I assume when you remove the uh, top layer, you have your cups and balls. But I assume, therefore, the booklet with a bunch of uh, tricks in there. There are no illustrations, no YouTube links, just a bunch of tricks. So you get that included. It says over 120 tricks. I'm assuming most of the tricks involve the cards. It's just a regular deck of uh, cards. But hey, for a dollar store magic kit, cool. Okay, next item from the dollar store is the Top Chips Kit. It's uh, basically, you, uh, it's a kit, so you can peel your potatoes very thin, and they include the, uh, the peeler, a little protector to peel your potatoes, and a little item, you stick your uh, peeled potatoes on that, stick it in the microwave oven, and they actually show you each step of the way. I've seen these for like 10 bucks, found this at Dollarama for 4 bucks, so it's a cool item. Next item, um, this is the... Uh, Vortex Lantern. So we're going to go ahead and open it up, show you. Okay. It's uh, basically a camping lighter or emergency light with handles. It's kind of small. You just pull up on the light and you can see there's the, uh, the light. It's not super bright. It's about 80 looms. But the cool thing about this is if you close it and reopen it, I'm going to turn down the light so you can get the full effect here. Oh, isn't that cool? It actually looks like flames. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But it's like a little uh, flame effect. But you can use this for roadside emergencies. Alright. So, there are no buttons. Just close that and that's off. I like it because it's compact. It uses Cobb LEDs, so it's durable. You can, you know, drop it. I wouldn't recommend it. So it's cool. Cool score from the dollar store. Next item. This right here. Look at this. It's a power jet that goes on your hose. So if you're doing your own uh, car washes, it's a cool little item. You can see that. It's a high-pressured wand that goes on to your hose, your water hose. You can use this handle. And what this handle does is just move the uh, thing back and forth. So, hey, if you're doing your own car washes, goes on your hose, the handle moves back and forth so you can squirt it. Different intensities. Right here it's got uh, all the benefits on here. So it's a cool score from the dollar store. And the last item I got at the dollar store was this Ripley's, believe it or not, the 2019 version. If you look on the back of this, can you read that? 20 pounds. I got this at the dollar store. Now these are good books um, to give away if you do any type of uh, stage show magic. So always give these a good way. You can resell them for 10 bucks. 
Um, it's a cool book. I don't know. It's got all the uh, pictures, all the weird stuff. It's good, it's good to have. The only downside about this, the dollar stores don't get these books until six months, sometimes a year later. But I like to bring them in for work instead of people reading pamphlets or magazines or the newspaper. I like to leave these around for kids to read or adults just to pass the time. It's another score from the dollar store. Hell yeah.